Hi guys, welcome back to the Auction Modeler. We now have issue 70 of the Bismarck and we are halfway. So yes, issue 70 is halfway through the build of the Bismarck. I can't believe we're 70 weeks in already, probably a little bit more than that now um, because of the issues that I had with COVID um, when I couldn't get it from the news agent so I had to sign up so I'm four weeks behind. Um, so yeah, this is halfway. Magazines, uh, there's 140 issues. We're halfway. With this one, we get the fourth uh, 15 centimeter gun turret, so exactly the same as we did a couple of issues back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of skip ahead a couple of steps first and attach the label onto this cable, and then we can get everything else glued together as we need it. And then all we need to do is just kind of work our way backwards, really. Um, knowing what we did in previous issues. So that's that done. Right, so we'll bring the glue in. So we need the two range finders. Check which side each one of them is. So that's the good thing when you're, you're doing a model like this. You do start to know exactly what's coming, especially when certain parts of it are quite repetitive, like the, um, the range finders on these guns, the guns themselves. Um, doing things like the uh, searchlights, it all starts to become a little bit of a... It's The first couple of times you do it, it's a learning curve. After that, you can pretty much do it quite quickly. Um, and that's the good thing about model building. If you get a model that's got a lot of the same sort of parts, you can do it pretty, pretty speedily, to be honest. So right, those are the two rangefinders on just there. Then we've got the gun barrels that will go into there and then just rest on the two little pins uh, just in, whoops, a little bit further away James, uh, just in there like that. So we'll set those down like that. Then we're putting the base on there. Then we're gonna find the single PB screw, which obviously when you get the parts from Hatchet, you get two of those screws because they always give you the one extra. And then we just screw that in, just into that hole there to keep it nice and tight. So that's in just in that little hole, just in, oh, all the way, just in that little hole there. So that's that bit done. Now we need to bring the deck back in because we're gonna attach this last turret. So, we need to pop that on there. So I'm gonna do this with the um, hull already, with the deck, sorry, already turned over. It's gonna be easier for me to get everything lined up. There we go. Try not to break any of the other gun barrels as I do that. Right, so that's on. So now we're gonna screw this set of, uh, this cog into position. Um, for this, we need the slightly longer PB screw. So move that one out of the way. Get these ones in there. Get the screwdriver. And then just pop that in there like that. one in that should now hold it enough that I'll be able to get all the other ones in but I'm just going to hold it from underneath obviously you don't want to put too much pressure on the hull and um, then risk it snapping which would not be good especially not with the amount of money we've already spent on this at like £10 an issue £9 an issue something like that but even if you add it up to round it up to £10 an issue by this point, it's near as damn it 700 quid. It ain't cheap. Um, so that's that bit done. Now we need to get the last bag of screws open. So these are the uh, w, uh, PWB screws. Like that. And then we're gonna take the motor switch just here. So this white side on the uh, has to go underneath. So it'll go in that way around, yep, that way. 
that way. No, hang on. James is getting confused. It's that way around. There we go. Right. And then... So I'll just get the screw into that hole just there. Same again, just holding this and gently screwing it in. And when you feel it start to push back, that's when you stop screwing. So all four guns are in. All four guns are more or less pointed the same way, but you can still jig them about if you need to. That one you can move around quite easily. The others, because they've actually got the motors on, it's going to be a bit more difficult. But that is that. And then another picture of it there on the close cam. So, uh, that is it for the fourth 15 uh, centimetre gun. Um, next time we get uh, another section of the lower keel plus the connector and the screw. So that's that one just on there. This hull, I think, is now starting to curve back in again. So we've gone from the point of the bow where it fares itself out and then it's gone flat and now I think it's starting to curve back in again. Only reason I'm thinking that is from looking at the um, the shape of the last deck section that we got, it seems to be starting to go back that way again. So we'll see. I'm hoping it is. Um, Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness and I will see you in the next video for issue 71 of the Battleship Bismarck. Um, so yeah, uh, as I've said in previous videos, keep commenting down below on what you think the um, intro should be and how I should say hello to all you guys. Um, and also if you have any uh, ideas for me to put onto my second channel, um, which there is obviously information on previous videos but until next time guys happy modeling and stay safe